Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to apologize because I was supposed to make this video last year, but the pandemic hit and everything got crazy and I forgot. So this is the triangle. You're going to need to make three of these. That's going to be the nose and the eyes of the pumpkin face for the Halloween baby blanket. Then we have the mouth. The gaps are the teeth. Now you would be doing this in black. I used this yarn because it would show up better on camera, but it kept splitting on me really bad. I was running out of storage on my phone, so I apologize. This is not going to be my best tutorial, but I really hope this helps you guys make this. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Facebook or message me on here. All right, good luck. Let's get into it. Okay, to make the mouth, where a lot of people seem to be getting confused, is we're not crocheting the teeth. We're making the gaps around the teeth. So we don't have to crochet what exists. We have to crochet what doesn't exist. I'm using blue yarn because the black will not show up on camera. You're going to start with a chain of 61. With 61 chains on your hook, you're not going to work into the front of the chain. You're going to work into the back of the chain. And you're going to do a single crochet in the back bump of the second chain from the hook. And you are going to single crochet all the way down your chain in the back bump. And it has to be the back bump because we need the finished edge because we're going to work on both sides of this single crochet. Okay, so once you get to the end of the row, you should have 60 single crochets, and we are going to cut the yarn and tie off. And leave a long tail, because of the tails on this project, that's what we're going to use to sew the face onto the blanket. Starting on the beginning of your row of single crochet, you're going to count in 27 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you find your 27th stitch, you're going to put your hook in. You're going to grab your yarn and you're going to tie on again, leave a long tail. chain one and then do a single crochet in that same stitch and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next six or the next five stitches for a total of six single crochets and the part we're making now is the top gap between the two top front teeth. So now that you have six single crochets, you're going to chain one, turn your work, you're going to do another row of single crochet, and you're going to keep going back and forth until you have five rows of single crochet that are six stitches wide building up from here. After you have five rows of single crochet, six stitches wide, cut your yarn, tie off. Again, leave a long tail. We're going to use that for sewing. So now what we're going to be creating is the left tooth, but this is the part that we don't make. We actually have to skip this and then start building over here, and that's what's going to form the tooth. Now this tooth is going to be six stitches wide, so you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the size. That's the size of the tooth. So you're going to put the 
hook in the seventh stitch and you're going to tie on. Okay, so I've tied on in the seventh stitch away from this piece. We're going to chain two. After you chain two, you're going to put a double crochet in the same stitch that you tied on and chained two. And that chain two does not count as a double crochet. That was just to build us to the height. And then you're going to put six more double crochets going down the row. Okay, so after doing those six, I now have seven double crochets. The next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. And after we put that half double crochet in, we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to put a half double crochet in that stitch. And that's what's, by skipping that stitch, it's going to create the mouth to start to curve upwards to give the smile effect. And then we're going to put in four more half double crochets. After you have those, in the next four stitches, you're going to put one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. After you have those four single crochet, then you're going to slip stitch to the end of the row, but don't make your slip stitches too tight. Then you can cut your yarn and tie off. And now we're going to tie back on to the top of this double crochet. After you've tied back on, you are going to chain two and you're going to put a double crochet where you tied on. And you're going to do four more double crochets for a total of five double crochets. After you have five double crochets, you're going to put in three half double crochets. You're going to put in three single crochets. Then you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. Again, don't make your slip stitches too tight. And you're going to cut your yarn and tie off. Now we're going to tie back in over here. After you tie back on, this time we're only going to chain one and we're going to do a single crochet into that same stitch. 
Then I'm going to do four more single crochets going down the row for a total of five single crochets. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next four stitches. Then you're going to cut your yarn and tie off. Then what you would do, would you would flip this over and do the exact same thing on the other side, which I've already done. And now you can see we have the two top teeth already in position. So now we have to make the bottom tooth or the gap in this, which will be the bottom tooth. So we're going to flip this upside down. This is why we had to work into the back bump. So we had a nice finished edge on the bottom where you could see your stitches. And directly underneath where this middle piece starts, you're going to insert your hook. One, two, three, six. You want to make sure the gap is six stitches wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you're going to tie on your yarn right underneath this. After you tie on, you want to make sure you didn't accidentally twist this. Then you're going to chain two. You're going to do a double crochet where you tied on. And you're going to do five double crochets, one in each of the next five stitches. Once you do those five double crochet, you should be lined up perfectly with this gap right here. That would give you a total of six double crochets, not including your chain two. And in the next stitch, you're going to do two double crochets into the same stitch. We're going to go back into the same stitch and put a second double crochet in the same stitch. Then we're going to do three more double crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. Once you have added those three extra double crochet, we're going to do five half double crochets, one in each of the next five stitches. After you've done your five half double crochets, in the next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets into the same stitch. We're going to do one more half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do five single crochets, one in each of the next five stitches.
and then you're going to slip stitch all the way to the end in the remaining stitches. And you don't want your slip stitches to be too tight. When you get to the end, cut your yarn. tie off. Then we're going to tie back on on the top of our first double crochet after you've tied back on you're going to chain two and do a half double I mean a double crochet in the same first stitch that you tied on to So you're going to do eight more double crochets, one in each of the next eight stitches, for a total of nine double crochet, your chain two not counting as a double crochet. After you have your nine double crochet in the next stitch, we are going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. There's one and into the same stitch there's two now in the next five stitches we're going to put one half double crochet into each one of those next five stitches After you've done those five half double crochets, in the next stitch you're going to put two half double crochets into the same stitch. There's one. Two. And then the next three stitches, we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. There's two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. There's one, two, Three. Then you can cut your yarn and tie off. After you tie off, so you don't have this little nub popping up, just feed the tail through the next stitch and pull, and then it sets flatter. Then we're going to go back to the beginning the top of that first double crochet and we're going to tie on again. After you tie back on you're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet into the same stitch that you tied on to. And you're going to do 11 more single crochets, one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. meet back up with you when we all have 11. After those 11 single crochet you should now have 12 single crochet and in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch. I'm going to do two more single crochets
then we're gonna slip stitch into the next three Then you can cut your yarn and tie off. Then you would flip this over and do the exact same thing going the opposite way, which I've already done. And now to make the corner of the mouths pointy, just take one of your long tails that you left, chain one, single crochet into the top, chain two and then slip stitch back in it's hard to see with all the tails in the way but that's the corner of our mouth and then there you go. That is the mouth of the pumpkin. And now we're going to go to the eyes, which is real quick. You're going to start out with a chain of 12, and you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And single crochet all the way down the chain. You should have 11 single crochets. With 11 single crochets, you're going to chain two, turn your work. We're going to skip the first single crochet and we're going to put a single crochet into the second stitch. Then you're going to single crochet all the way down except for the last stitch. Okay, so I'm at the last stitch and we're going to slip stitch instead of single crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to chain two, turn our work. Now that is our slip stitch, that's not a single crochet. We're going to go into the single crochet after the slip stitch. And we're going to put one single crochet. You're going to single crochet all the way down the row, except for the last one. We're going to do the same thing. Now that we're at the almost to the end, that chain two that we made, we are going to slip stitch into that chain two space. This is not a fun yarn to work with. Then we're going to chain two. That is your slip stitch. That is not a single crochet. So we're going to go into the first single crochet of the row and put a single crochet. And you're just going to keep doing this back and forth until you come to a point, and I'll show you how to finish this off. Now, as you're building up, it should be getting narrower as you go up, because at the end of each row, we're skipping a single crochet, and we are slipping into it. So you should be decreasing by one every single row, and it should be getting skinnier as you go along. If it's not, you're probably putting your first single crochet here 
when that's actually your slip stitch. You're not supposed to work into that. It's always one over after your chain two. That's where you put your single crochet. Okay, so we're at the point where we have three single crochets. We have our chain two. We're going to skip. We're going to skip that slip stitch. We have two single crochets on top. Single crochet. We're going to immediately slip stitch into that chain two space. Going to chain two, turn, single crochet right in the middle. Slip stitch in the chain two, chain two more. Last single crochet, then we're going to tie off. And then we have a nice triangle. And you would make three of those. So you'd have two eyes and then one for the nose. And then you would sew that onto your blanket and you are all set. Thank you for watching.